Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's a girl, Naked Natural. If it's your first time coming to my page, please hit that subscribe link below and press that little bell so that you get notification for whenever I upload a new video. So today, I'm just going to talk about this monster, once beloved patriot of the natural hair community. Eco Styler Gel. Many of us have had our beautiful wash and goes using this gel. Amazing twist outs, braid outs, you name it. Sleek bun slayer right here. However, in recent findings, which to some of you is not so recent, Many many people already had known about the harmful ingredient that is in this product. I cannot pronounce it. Um, I will read it for you as best as I can. The ingredient list, first it's water, water, sorry, carbomer, triethanolamine, hydrolyzed wheat protein, PVP, Glycerin and the devil in this, which is sodium hydroxymethylglycinate. Let me put this to the side real quick and have a bit of a confession um, slash experience that I've had with Eco Styler. I used to get terrible headaches. My eyes would water. My eyes. would burn I'm getting a phone call cut this is irritated. Let's see if I can just show you the flakes. Can y'all see that? No. So like I was saying, I will get terrible headaches, irritated scalp. If you have been, if you watch any of my previous videos, you might, might have heard me mention that I have self-diagnosed scalp psoriasis. I get itchy, scaly, very difficult to manage and to bear at times scalp irritation and a lot of my irritation comes from using products that has um any coconut oil in it or just not cleansing my scalp as well as i should have or my scalp not being as clean because i had irritation such as scarring and i had to wait for the tissue to heal on its own in order to properly cleanse the scalp anyway some of my experiences and my issues This right here, this fall, my eyes would burn, like I said, and I did not realize that it was a gel. I had a very brief moment where I would blame my eyes getting watery from either products from my hair getting on my face and then thus sleeping into my eyes. But that doesn't happen with every hair product that I use. It only happens whenever I do a wash and go or I do a ponytail using the Eco Styler. Now, the sodium hydroxy yada yada, that ingredient is listed in small dosage and I've done my reading and I've done a brief research 
on studies conducted using this on lab rats. And it has shown that over continuous usage, this can have some very serious effects on both your skin, your organs, your immune system. The list goes on and on and on. Now, am I telling you to dump all your ego styler? No. I'm telling you the experience that I had. I'm telling you what I'm going to do. And I'm, t I'm telling you basically why everyone else is just jumping on this bandwagon to cancel Eco Styler. Because to be quite frank, there are many other natural products and many other ingredients that we may not know to be harmful until someone else pointed out. And it's okay. When you know better, you do better. And until then, you're going to continue to make what others deem as unhealthy decisions. But just keep in mind that if you do see some changes, you may not be able to relate it to one product until, you know, someone says, hey, look, I have this similar experience and then maybe you'll think like, well, shoot, I went natural five years ago and I was been using this thing and I've been getting blah, blah, blah. And some people have had that experience. It's not my experience. My experience is I get the headaches and after a while I put my eco style down. I put my eco style down not because of the videos, not because of the recent videos, but I put the eco style down because I was trying out other gels. Because to be quite frankly, not everything mixes well with eco styler. And the name of my channel or my social media platform name is Naked Natural and I'm trying to make the transition from mainstream products to vegan products. So that's why I've given Eco Styler a break. But on the flip side, when I don't use Eco Styler, I'm using other gels such as the Aunt Jackie's flaxseed gel. They're not vegan certified. Not that I'm aware of, but it wasn't Eco Styler. Other gels that I use, Main Choice Crystal Orchid Gel, not vegan certified. The one brand that I know right now that has a really good gel, and I don't have it here to show you because it's all done, is Sultanicals. They have maybe... Um, I think about two to four of their products that help what options you have for gel. Now, I is a vegan product, and I want. Not just because a brand says that they are, it means that they are. But I've used their stuff. I've read through the ingredients. I've researched the ingredients. And I haven't found anything alarming in their ingredients. So, this is a Afro-Vegan line. I'm going to show to the shop. These are the clumping and and getting your wash and goes, with, which is considered like a gel. And then if you don't want to use a gel, then try edge control. Ladies, I, I can't give you all the answers. I can only tell you that this finding has been an eye opener for me. And I will make sure that I try to give you guys a better alternative because I'm going to be honest the other gels that I use do not and I repeat they don't give me the same hold and the same sleekness as this eco styler gel so many of you might be saying well hey whatever I'm going to ignore that and I'm going to use it because nothing else gives me this hold and I understand that I really really do 
you see my hair how it is there's no gel in it there's only I've, I've been using fortified naturals products in my hair after I've met um, the owner at the Hue Affair I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about that in a different video but this is about ego salad and this is about using products that contain harmful ingredients to us and I say us as people not us as black girls as naturals but us as people because I don't feel like it's only in the girls in the natural hair community that use eco styler. We might be the majority, don't get me wrong, but I feel like other women are using eco styler for ponytail reasons and not wash and goes. Other, other things and another problem that a lot of us are going to have is finding a gel that's also going to give us the size for this price. You might not be able to see the price tag. But this says $9.99. Am I getting that? Am I getting that good? I don't know if I'm getting that good. But the fact of the matter is, it's $9. $9 for a tub of gel. My Aunt Jackie's gel, this little thing cost me $5. Uh, my main choice gel, I got it on a sale. It cost me $10. I have three other gels here that I picked it from the beauty supply store. A dollar. Let's Jam, $4.99. I see gel, also $4.99. I don't know if these other gels contain harmful products, but I can say that I'm looking for that sodium hydria that and if I'm not finding it in the gel then I'm going to pick it up a lot of these gels contain ingredients in their chemical I shouldn't say a chemical name but their scientific name so to speak and a lot of us if you if you have never taken a biochemistry class or you just don't know even if you take a biochemistry class you might not be able to recognize some of these names so let the internet be your friend and do not be afraid to go on Google, type in Google Scholar, hit the enter button and then look up studies containing this chemical. Because in the cosmetic industry, these, these ingredients are being used in our hair products and skin products and also makeup. So make sure that you do take the time if you're concerned about the products and ingredients and stuff like that. Just look them up. It might be a bit tedious, but look them up. I mean, hey, if you don't care, then continue using Eco Styler. But I, I, I have half a tub left, and I'm gonna have to decide right now. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll decide right now. It's going in the garbage. Yeah, I'm having a hard time processing that, but I also like my clean scalp. I also like not having a headache. I also like not having to figure out, is my ponytail tight? Well, no, it's not tight. So why am I getting a splitting headache? This thing right here, that's why I'm getting a splitting headache. And there could be other factors, but hey, for right now, I'm, the gel is going to take the blame. And as far as me not using the gel, I haven't had any of those experiences. My eye is not watering. I don't have any headache. My scalp is not irritated. Normally, I go three to four days and then it's a wash. You understand? Three to four days and then a wash. It has been almost a week and I have not washed my hair. I haven't felt no irritation. I haven't had itchy, scaly scalp. In order for me to run to my bathroom and go, oh my god, I gotta, I gotta wash. No, I haven't had that experience. And I haven't used my gel in two weeks. I haven't used Eco Styler in two weeks. So, I mean, I don't need any more proof. You might need more proof. You might need something else to correlate this with. But as far as canceling Eco Styler, yes. I will be canceling Eco Styler in all of my hair care regimens. And if you're my friend, cancel Eco Styler. Thank you. I will list 
not list, well, yes, I will list other alternatives. Um, everything that I list, I'm, I have not tried. This is at your own risk. We all take a risk when, when it comes to our hair. But if you want to do further research, feel free to do so. But I will list other vegan certified. And I do this because we are still a kind of in the unknown. Because not every product is listed in the ingredient. This is like a, a, a trial situation. You have to try out these things to see if you have any adverse effects. And then maybe 10 years two or three years down the road, you might get another article like this one that says, hey, mm, that thing is has a carcinogen. And carcinogens are agents that have the potential of causing cancer, any form of cancer. So ladies, do the right thing. Do your research. Um, don't just jump on the bandwagon because your favorite YouTuber told you to cancel eco styler make sure you know the reasons why you're canceling eco styler and if you're not having these side effects kudos to you i wish i wish i could be like you if you're not having any side effects but anyway ladies um i'm going to attach just like a screen article if you feel free to read or i can also have the link down below of where you a website that you can go to look up cosmetic ingredients without having to do so much background research and some of these some of these websites well the one that I'm going to attach it's run by a physician and should I put all my trust in a physician no but you know it's a physician so there's some level of trust there so anyway happy healthy hair journey to you Look out for dangerous products. Um, if you can't pronounce it, don't buy it. I'm joking. Well, actually, I'm not joking. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not joking. Can't pronounce it, don't buy it. If you learn to pronounce it, now that's a different story. But anyway, ladies, thank you for watching my video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoy the content. Feel free to start a debate below. Feel free to comment, subscribe, do whatever you'd like. So with the eco styler, keep the eco styler. Tell me if you had any of the side effects. And there are other YouTubers that are also making reaction videos and with their experiences and stuff. So please, if you don't just watch one video, watch other videos. You, you, it's a, this is all a learning experience for all of us because our hair deserves the best. So just make sure that you. Fill your toolbox with as much knowledge and information as you can. Thank you for watching. Have a good one. Bye-bye.
So as you can see, there are articles that are associated with this ingredient that you can go ahead if you're interested and take a read so that you can familiarize yourself with these ingredients.